welcome to the Crochet Magical Mystery Tour. My name is Chris of LightAndJoyDesigns.com and I'm going to teach you today how to make this beautiful circle shawl. But not just that, I'm also going to teach you how to make a three-quarter version of the same shawl and also this half circle version of the same shawl. And if you can believe it, this is one of the easiest patterns to make. After the first three easy rows, it's just a one row repeat. And it is, let me tell you, it is so easy to make. You're going to love this. This is one of those patterns where you can kind of just go along without having to count. It's really easy. Let's get started. So if you'd like to know how much yarn to use, um, it will really vary depending on what weight yarn you choose, the hook size you use, and also how big you make it. So this first shawl, the full circle one, is made with a sport weight yarn called Sultan by Cotton Kings. It's a plied yarn with, made out of four threads and um, I used about one and a half cakes which was about 1300 yards now this is really a huge shawl and yours doesn't have to be quite that big uh, but that's how much I used for my three-quarter shawl which is not completely finished yet I'm using this yarn called Soft and Sleek by Yarn B from uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, and by the way, the Sultan yarn from Cotton Kings uh, you can get from Hobby, H O B B I I dot com. That's in the Netherlands. You can buy that online. Um, so for this one, for the three-quarter one, I'm using probably two of these um, skeins, which will be a total of 372 yards. One, each skein is 186 yards. And I'm using the colorway Violet Stripe. So um, stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll have some uh, video and photos of what these different shawls look like tried on. And then for my half circle one, I used three different colors of this yarn called uh, Baby Bee, My Sweet Love. And I used, the colorways that I used are Coral Multi, that's color number five. And then I used this one called Purple Multi. That's this one, this one here. And then another one called Purple Pink. And that one's kind of mixed in here. It's in between the, the purple and this um, Coral Multi one here. So, um, and then I just repeated them like I didn't use I used about half of the skein of this yarn here About half of this one here. I used the full purple one here And then I used the remainder of this one here and then the remainder of this one on the outer edge And for this one, these are about a hundred yards each So this shawl is about 300 yards. This is a bulky weight yarn and I used, um, I believe, a nine millimeter hook for this one. Um, for the three quarter one, I'm using an eight millimeter hook. And for this one here, I believe I used a 6.5 millimeter hook. So for the circle shawl, these are the supplies you'll need. You're gonna need a crochet hook and you can use any size you like. I'm using an eight millimeter crochet hook so that I will have a nice drape with my worsted weight yarn. Uh, for your yarn, you can choose any 
weight yarn that you'd like. You can choose lightweight, worsted weight, or bulky weight. Uh, you might also want a measuring tape to check the size of your shawl as you go along. You'll want um, a scissors, a uh, yarn needle, and if you like, it's optional, you can use um, stitch markers for uh, where the, um, the different sections stop and start, but I don't think you'll need them. So let's get started. So before we start on the actual pattern, I'm going to just show you how this pattern works. Um, with the instructions today, you'll be able to make either a half circle, three quarters, or a full circle shawl. Either way, the circle, uh, the shawl is worked from this center point out, and it's worked in these triangular sections that I, I call those sections. And each of the sections, as you'll see, is separated by a chain one which makes it easy to know when you're at the beginning and the end of a section. But if you like, you can certainly use stitch markers to make note of that. If you are going to make a half circle, you're going to make six sections. For a three quarter sec circle, you're going to make eight sections. And for a full circle shawl, which will actually wrap you know, all the way around you and then some, you will have 12 sections. Each of the sections in our shawl begins with one single, one double crochet, a solitary double crochet, and then it expands from there. So if you are making the six section uh, or the half circle, you're going to start with six double crochets. If you are making the three quarter circle shawl, you're going to start with eight double crochets. And if you're making the full circle, you're going to start with 12 double crochets. And your first double crochet is going to be a chain three. So let's take a look at row one. We're going to start with a circle and we're going to make this circle with a chain three and then a slip stitch to join and make that circle. From there we're going to chain three and that's going to count as our first double crochet. I'm going to show you how I make mine and if you'll have the choice to make your first double crochet however you like to make it. Um, and then you're going to make, if you're doing um, the half circle, you'll make another five double crochets. If you're making the three quarter circle, you're gonna make another seven double crochets. And if you're making the full circle, you're gonna make another 11 double crochets. So I, today I'm going to be making the three quarter circle. So I'm going to be making a total of eight double crochets. So that's going to be a chain three plus seven double crochets. Each of these straight lines equals a double crochet. Okay, so I'm using an eight millimeter hook with this worsted weight yarn. And I forgot to call it out. It is Yarn B Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber. And this is in the colorway Violet Stripe. So, um, you know, this yarn normally calls for a six millimeter hook. I'm using an eight millimeter hook, so it'll have nice drape. So I'm gonna start with a slip knot. I just do a cross with my yarn. This is my tail. This is my working end. And then I just pull the yarn up through that circle and put the yarn on my hook and tighten it up. Now for most of you, for this first circle that we're gonna create, you'll probably only need to do a chain three. If your yarn is very bulky or you're having trouble uh, getting into the center of that circle, you can chain four. So you can just test that out. I'm going to do a chain three. One, two, three. 
three and then you're going to go into that first stitch whether you do a chain three or a chain four go into the first stitch and you're going to yarn over pull through a loop and pull that loop through the loop on your hook and that is going to be the center that you're going to be working into there so in this case i'm going to chain three one two three that counts as our first double crochet and since i'm doing the three quarter shawl i'm going to make another seven double crochets so to make a double crochet you're going to yarn over go into the center of that circle that you just made yarn over pull up a loop you will have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and i'm going to make another six of those so that i will have a total of eight double crochets at the end of this row uh, and again that chain three counts as one of our double crochets so one two three four five six seven one more eight and so that's the end of row one that's the beginning of my three-quarter circle shawl if you're making the half shawl you will have six double crochets if you're making the full circle shawl you'll do a total of 12 including that chain three okay so now on to row two for row two we're going to this was our last stitch here we're going to chain three and then into that same stitch we're going to do another another double crochet in the next double crochet we're going to do two double crochets into the same stitch and to every stitch around including the um, the third chain of our chain three that we originally started okay so we're going to chain three one two three turn our work and into that very first stitch we're going to make another double crochet so essentially into each stitch we're making two double crochets here's our next one i'm going to make two double crochets into that one stitch that's one and two and i'm going to do that all the way to the end I have two more stitches so two into this one that's one and two double crochets and then our last one is this chain three and here is this this third chain that I need to go into so I'm just going to kind of open it up a little bit and on the next round I'm going to show you how to make this actually a little bit easier if you choose to do it that way so I've got that chain opened up and I'm going to make two double crochets into that chain and that is the end of row two at the end of you'll have um, you'll have double the amount of stitches that you started with so if you started with eight like me you'll now have 16 if you started with 12 you'll have 24 if you started with six you'll have 12. okay so here we are at row three and this is where things start to get a little bit interesting and fun so what we're going to do is we're going to start the same way and i'm actually going to show you a different way to do this if you would like to um, or you can continue with the chain three but essentially you're going to make your first double crochet here and then these stitches here so we're beginning to have our sections so um, this the double crochets that are at the beginning and the end of a section are what I call double crochet dash SE and SE stands for section end 
and just write that down. Double crochet SE stands for double crochet section end. And then each of the stitches that are between those section ends will be called double crochet BS, which stands for double crochet between stitches. So I'll demonstrate that to you in just a second. Um, but essentially, the two stitches on the end of every section are going to be worked normally into the previous stitches. The stitches in between your section end are going to be worked between stitches. All right, and I'm going to show you what, that, what I mean by that. And then in between each section is going to be a chain one. So for row three, we're going to have a chain three, a between stitch double crochet, and then a section end double crochet, and a chain one. And then we repeat that over again all the way to the end. So let me demonstrate that for you, and I think it'll make it very clear. And by the way, I'm abbreviating, I'm, the symbol that I'm using for this between stitch double crochet, I have like a little sort of a dot here at the bottom of it, and that's to help you um, know which stitch, what type of stitch to do. So, so essentially each of our pairs that we just made, these pairs, is, is the beginning of each of your sections. So the way that it works, we're going to um, do your chain three, or in my case, I'm going to show you how I like to start. I chain two, I go into the second chain, pull through a loop, I go into the stitch, pull through a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook. And then I yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that just makes it really easy to find this stitch when I'm coming back around the next time, as opposed to going into that third chain of a chain three, which is can sometimes get a little tight and hard to find. Okay. So anyways, we've, we've done our our first double crochet. You might do it as a chain three, or you might do it the way that I just do, did it. Our next stitch is one of these double crochet between stitches, DC-BS. And what that means is, instead of going into the regular space that we go into for a stitch, we're going to go in between the two stitches. So here's the first stitch, here's the second stitch we're gonna make our double crochet right in between them. So I yarn over, go in between the two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then I'm going to, in the next stitch, I'm gonna do a, a section end uh, double crochet, which means that I'm just gonna do it regular. So I'm gonna go into this space, that's the normal space that we would go into and make my double crochet. And then you finish that section with a chain one. Now we're ready to, to do the next section. I'm going to do a regular crochet, what I'm calling a, a section end double crochet, just to uh, just to distinguish it from the ones, this, these DCBS, the ones that we're doing between stitches. And then we're going to do a, a DCBS in between the next two stitches. And then we're going to make a section end double crochet into this stitch here. And then we're going to make a chain one. So then you're just going to work those little sections of three stitches separated by a chain one all the way to the end. Okay, so I have one pair left, so I'm going to make my 
section and double crochet into that first stitch. I'm going to make a double crochet between stitches, between the two, and then in this chain three here, I'm going to make the last section end double crochet. And you can see why I like making my starting double crochets different than the chain three. So that's how it will, a three quarter shawl will look at the end of row three. And you can uh, check your work by counting. You will have three times the number of starting double crochets. So in my case, I started with eight, so I should have eight times three, I should have 24 stitches all the way around. If you are making a half circle shawl, you'll have three times six, which would be 18. And if you're making the full circle, you'll have three times 12, which would be 36 stitches. Okay, so let's take a look at row four, and this is our repeat row. It's very similar to row three. So we're going to start with um, either your chain three or your whatever kind of uh, starting double crochet you like to use. And then, so that's a section end double crochet because it's being made right into this first stitch that it came from. Then in between every stitch in the section, we're going to do one of these between stitches. So there'll be one in between this one and this one, and there'll be one between this one and this one. And then when we get to the last stitch, we're going to make a section end double crochet, meaning it's just going to be a normal do double crochet right into this double crochet, the way you would normally do it. Then we're going to do a chain one. That's the end of our first section. And then we basically do the same thing in each of the other sections all the way around. We do a regular double crochet at the beginning and the end of the section, and we do these between stitch double crochets between those section ends. And what you'll notice is <clears throat> that each section is increasing by one stitch for every row. And you can also, it makes it easy to check your work because if you're on row four, that means each of your sections is going to have four double crochets. One, two, three, four. When you're in row five, each of your sections is going to have five double crochets. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let me show you how we do row four. So now each of your sections should be easy to find because there should be a single crochet in between each one of those sections. Okay. There's our single crochet, and there, and there, and there. If you are a beginner and you don't feel comfortable just finding it as you go, you can put stitch markers in each of these um, each of these chain one spaces to let yourself know that you're at the end of a section. So you could put one in each of those and then <clears throat> as you work the shawl, you just move your stitch markers up with each row. So let's do row four. And having these stitch markers might be helpful just for the demonstration purposes here. Okay, so um, you're either going to chain three, or in my case, I'm going to chain two. I'm going to go into the second chain, pull through a loop, turn my work, go into that first stitch, pull through a loop, 
and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's my first double crochet, and that's one of these section end double crochets, okay? We can see this is our section. It's set off by a, a chain one space. So in our first stitch of the section, and in our last stitch of the section, we're always going to do a regular double crochet right into that normal stitch, into that space that we normally go into. Between all the other stitches, you're going to have one of these double crochet between stitches. So in this case, I'm going to have one, two of them. So I'm going to make one here between these two. And I'm going to make one here between these two. And now I'm at the end of my section. So now I'm just going to do a regular double crochet into that, into that space of the last stitch. And then I'm going to do a chain one. And now I'm on my next section. So I will do a double crochet at the beginning of that section. And I'm going to do two um between stitches of course these are double crochets i'm going to do another one in between these two and here we are at the end of our section so i'm going to do a regular double crochet into that stitch and then a chain one let's just do one more regular double crochet at that section end we're going to do between stitches all the way until we get to our last stitch of the section. There we are. It's right there because we know it's there because there's our chain one. And I'm just going to do a regular double crochet into that and then a chain one and so on. Do that all the way around. And then if you're using the stitch markers, you can, when you're, when you're done with your round, you can take them out and just move them up. Okay, so just do that all the way to the end and then we'll take a look at row five. I'm on my last section here of row four. I did my chain one. Now I'm gonna make my first stitch of the last section. I'm gonna do my between stitches, between all the stitches until the last stitch and that's this one here. And that was our, our turning turning double crochet and you can see it's much easier to find the stitch there you see the V there at the top then with the chain three and I'm just going to make my section end double crochet there and now you can see what it looks like at the end of row four it's really starting to take on that three-quarter circle look Okay, so now we have row five, which is um, essentially the same as row four, except that we're going to have more stitches because the repeat is that we're going to work in between every stitch that is um, between the first and last stitch of the section. So you see this is a section here, this is a section here, and so on. So we're going to do our first double crochet, either chain three or the type that I showed you or whatever type you like using. And then we're going to do a between stitch double crochet between each of these stitches till we get to the last stitch of that section. And in that stitch, we're going to do a section end double crochet, which is just a regular double crochet. And we have our chain one in between each of the sections. We'll work all the way around. Now, I do also have this little diagram here that I think might make it um, helpful to see as well. Uh, so this here is, is just an enlarged version of just one of these uh, sections of the shawl. So in this case, um, this is a half circle. So you would have started with six of these double crochets. 
this is our first one this is actually like the second one okay so I didn't I didn't work out the all the others just I only just did the second one here so there's your first double crochet in row one there's your two double crochets in row two and then here's row three where we have our section end and we have a between stitch double crochet here row four we have our two section ends and we have two between stitches okay because there's a space here and a space here so that we have two of them for row five we have our section ends and then we're going to have a between stitch in between each of those stitches of that section and again you can check your work um, whatever row you're on each of your sections will have that number of double crochets so row five your each each section is going to have five double crochets and six and seven and so on okay so for row five we're going to make our first double crochet I make it with a chain two go into the second chain pull through a loop go into the stitch pull through a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that is our section and double crochet and so our section begins here and ends here we can tell that because here's the chain one space which I've marked with a stitch marker and if you are new to crocheting you might want to do that as well between those two section and double crochets we are going to do a between stitch double crochet between all the other stitches so that means one here one two three and then we'll do another section and double crochet so that's one and two and three and oh there we are at the end of our section so we just do a regular double crochet into that section end and we set them apart with a chain one and we do the same thing all over we make our regular do double crochet at the beginning of the section and we're going to make a between stitch in between all the stitches until we get to the last stitch of that section and there it is we can see because there's the chain one and our stitch marker so we make a regular double crochet into the regular stitch chain one and then do that all the way around okay so this is what your shawl will look like at the end of row five this is the three-quarter version if you're making the half shawl you'll have two less of these sections and you'll have a half shawl and if you're making the full shawl it will go all the way to the center you'll have uh, you'll have four more sections it'll actually almost it, it gets pretty big <laughs> so anyways you'll just continue to work this shawl in this manner uh, where you have your end stitches you know your regular double crochets at the beginning and end of each section and your between stitches uh, in between in between your section and double crochets always have your chain one in between each of your sections So stay tuned for the end of this video where I will show you some pictures of the full shawl. I'll show you pictures of a half shawl and I will show you pictures of this shawl when it is also completed as well. Um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. That's helpful to me and I really appreciate it. Uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of it and if you have any questions. If you would like a uh, written version of this, you can go to my website, lightandjoydesigns.com. Um, the link to that and also to the printable version on Etsy and Ravelry 
will be in the description below this video. Thank you for being here and be sure to subscribe and of course wait again till the end of the video where you'll see some cool pictures to inspire you. Thanks again for joining and hope to see you again soon. Bye -bye.